if you're like me, you've been waiting with bated breath for something official, some substance from Rockstar regarding GTA 6. Well, as of 9 a.m. today, your wait was officially over as Rockstar has released a trailer for the game. Did you see it? I'll put a link to it in the description below. Here's my breakdown of things I know. First of all, it opens up with this beautiful Florida sky, giving you a glimpse into the scope of their design. Then we see some barbed wire fences, suggesting something more ominous. And here we get our first shot of our main character, Lucia, who appears to be in prison. She's talking to a counselor or even a probation or parole officer of some kind, so breaking her out in the opening doesn't seem likely. But this is the first hint at character development, and we kind of see where her head is at. And the wide-angle shot of the city, in all its grandeur, Vice City. And I mean, can you get a grasp of the scale here? There's a shitload of buildings, and this seems like only one area promising it's honestly promising next we have the everglades and what appears to be an airboat now if we can drive airboats in this that might be reason enough to get the game by itself now here is an introduction to one of the many new animals that have been added to the gta universe flamingos i could totally see myself just walking around and looking around for hours it's the beach is far more populated than any beach in Los Santos. In fact, this beach looks more popular populated than Los Santos. Some waterway action. This appears to be a dock. Some proximity to one. And we have some highway action and what seems to be footage taken from the windowsill of one car filming someone standing in the passenger seat of their convertible. From what I understand the mechanics of this game, this is a thing. You won't be able to only break the window and stick your hand out and dump shots. You'll be able to put two thirds of your body out of the car to engage and like turn around and shoot over the hood and stuff like that, even while driving. And here we have what looks like the Vice City version of Benny's, which I'm 100% here for. The car culture is one of the main reasons I ever played GTA 5 to begin with. I mean, it's in the name. Right after theft, I guess, so that tracks with the toxicity of the lobbies in GTA Online today. Here we have a strip club. I think that's uh, pretty self-explanatory, so I'll move on. Here we have the homie. I'll be willing to bet that he's a Zoe. And for those unfamiliar, a Zoe is someone of Haitian origin or descent who engages in morally questionable or criminal activity. If Rockstar's version of Miami does not have a Haitian element to it, they grossly failed at representing the culture and dropped the ball completely in that regard. An aerial view of some of the map and surrounding area, and I'm still trying to grasp the scale and the scope of all of this. They're saying many of the buildings will be enterable. That bodes well for immersion, or as we like to call it over here, the full plunge. You know I couldn't leave this video without including what is likely to be the most screenshotted image from the trailer. I'm not sure this is if this is Lucia or not, but there she is. As good as the models are for this game, I imagine there will be a lot of lonely people at home falling in love for real with the strippers and other NPCs in this game. Uh, we have the Vice City sign, hearkening to the Vinewood sign in GTA 5. Although I am not sure if there's a version of the Hollywood sign in Miami. Let me know in the comments if there is. The next thing I notice is that there seems to be some social media element to this. And if the social media in this game is properly fleshed out, imagine the irony of turning on a video game to scroll through social media there and getting lost in that. Here we see something called the Thrillbillies Mud Club, and I could dig this. Muddy burnouts and donouts with loud music and beautiful women covered in said mud? More culture. And no new game that simulates some version of real life would be complete without a Karen of its own. Finally, we get a look at Jason. A buzz going around is, while there are two playable protagonists, the story largely surrounds one of them. The fact that we've seen Lucia so many times 
already and they're now showing Jason as a testament to that and we can probably see which way the pendulum is swinging and I'm here for it every little girl should grow up believing she could be anything a man can be including a successful murderous criminal successful murderous criminal protagonist in a video game I strongly believe that this guy here is a key element to the game and I don't speak Spanish, so if someone would like to translate for me in the comments section, I would be eternally grateful. Uh, some dirt bike slash stunt culture here, which looks familiar to my own town. Any good summer Sunday on Linden Boulevard. High Rollers Lifestyle Magazine, which seems like another social media post. Jason and Lucia getting into shenanigans. What I'm getting is a strong Bonnie and Clyde vibe. And I think their relationship will be paramount to the story. I wouldn't doubt there will be a prison break of some kind, possibly multiple. I haven't played GTA 5 or GTA Online in months, but I am hopeful for GTA 6. My hope is that it's new and refreshing. My hope is also that we don't have to wait 12 years for GTA 7.